Voss just said if I choose to stay remote, there'd be 5% salary discount. It's a double-edged sword because I got promoted. But now have to choose whether to stay WFH and lose that money or bite the bullet and commute two hours a day. It doesn't even make sense because my entire direct team is on the other side of the country. Anyways. Edit. I don't have a car so that's two hours a day by public transport. 5% would still be a lot more than the cost of bus pass fees. Fuck that. Stay remote while you look for another job. Your company is saving way more than 5% of your salary by not having you in the office. If they're not passing that along to employees, then move on. You could take the hit. Bide your time. And look for another job. Your boss sounds like a class of asshole. There will be a 5% productivity discount too. Take the hit in WFM. That commute will take years off your life. Inflation 8%. Pay cut 5%. He is asking you to have 13% less buying power in the coming year for the privilege of staying home. This is a suppression tactic. Next he will say stuff like, the economy is tanking. You are lucky you have a job. Then of course. When you leave he will be like, I thought we were family. Quote. Op do this. 1. Accept his terms too. Work 20% less. Point 3. Take that 20% effort and use the time to look for another job. Point 4. When you quit. Give zero notice. Point 5. When they ask why you are starting your new job the next Monday tell them that you are treating them with the same respect they are giving you. Counter offer a 5% raise, because you don't take up valuable commercial office space. What a dick. They really want to kill WFH. Huh? Jokes on them a huge majority of us WFH people refuse to ever work a job that makes us go into the office again. G Agree with others. Bite the bullet. Take the 5% and use the 2 hours saved to look for a different job. 2 hour commute? So you either increase your effective working hours by 25% or you take a 5% pay cut. I wouldn't even have to think about that one. And I'd start looking elsewhere. Take your time and find a great opportunity. They do exist. 5% salary reduction equals 5% decrease in productivity. I think it's time you start invoicing the company for home office rent then. I would do that but unfortunately that's not even an option for me. Despite the fact my job can be done better from home than office and that my team is not even in my physical office so there's zero reason to go in. I would even take 50% pay cut. Of course that would suck but just to show how much I despise the commute in the office. I'm literally drained of energy when I go in and stop living my life. I hate my life now whereas I absolutely loved my life during the pandemic when I had finally energy to live. At the same time I got great reviews from managers so it's not like I was slacking off. I was just able to balance work and life. I hate the fact we live in such a dystopian world where the best years of my life were during a pandemic that killed millions of people. How sick is that? I'm okay with the 5% pay cut for WFH. But only under the condition that I receive compensation for leasing my home as a company office. Which includes utility and wear and tear costs. That additional compensation happens to be 5% of my current salary. 5% not to mention the 9% you lost due to inflation. Cost of living going up. Companies that don't take care of their employees and don't treat them like humans are less than. Scum. It's a double-edged sword because I got promoted. But now have to choose whether to stay WFH and lose that money or bite the bullet and commute two hours 
a day. Or, get a new job that has WFH and better pay. My boss said I could not work from home several days a week to save time and gas. Found a new WFH job for about $100 more a day. Win. Win. Is 5% worth the commute stress hassle? To me I'd say chop the 5 and not go in that's just me. Gas savings would be 5% to go any way at least. Again just my opinion be happy stay home. Let him know that you'll come to the office to Skype call your team but it's going to have to be at a 45% pay increase because of commute time, buying a car expenses, and fuel and insurance costs. You took the promotion at the current salary because you weren't factoring in driving to the office. Let him decide. Or tell your boss 100% salary or you need to find a new staff member. Alternate. 10% more to come work in the office. Offer counter offer. 2 hours a day? Yeah I'm taking the 5% hit no questions. My free time is worth that. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.